Hello everybody, I'm Jerry Park. Well, it was my pleasure to spend the 1988 football season with the team at Oklahoma State University. From the opening kickoff in Stillwater to the final countdown in the Holiday Bowl in San Diego, it was more than just exciting. It was more than just a thrilling season. Rather, it was one of which memories are made. Prior to the opening kickoff against Miami of Ohio in early September, Oklahoma State players, coaches, and fans were confident. They were confident of a good team, experienced, talented. But above all, they were confident of a cohesive unit with no individual goals in mind, rather team goals. It would be a total team effort in 1988, and from that unity came the fulfillment of the promise of greatness. The 1988 Cowboys accepted the challenge, and from that acceptance came a 10 and 2 season, which included the naming of five players to the All Big 8 team, two All Americans, and as you know by now, the school's first Heisman Trophy winner. So sit back, relax, and for the next hour, enjoy 1988 Oklahoma State football. That Heisman season. The first game of the 1988 season was at home for the Cowboys. Miami of Ohio came into Lewis Field a decided underdog to Oklahoma State. It was Pat Jones' first look at his team under fire. Miami of Ohio had a 3-0 lead before the Cowboys ever touched the football. That lasted but 14 seconds. Because that's how long it took for Barry Sanders to take the kickoff from his end zone and put it down 100 yards later. That made the score 7-3 Cowboys. Miami had the ball only two plays when this happened. Brandon Colbert causes the fumble. Reggie Smith recovers. Six plays later, Sanders gets his second touchdown of the game from the two, and that made it 14-3, Oklahoma State. Late now in the first quarter, Mike Gundy goes to the air. He hits Hartley Dykes for 21 yards. Then Dykes again for seven. One more time to the Redskin one. From there, fullback Garrett Limbrick gets into the act, and it's a 21-3 ball game. Early second quarter now, Cowboys at their own 11. Gundy gives to Sanders. Sit back and enjoy an 89-yard touchdown run. Miami added 10. It was 28-13 at the half. In the third quarter, Miami back to pass. A receiver at the Cowboy 20, but so is Melvin Gillum. He intercepts and returns it seven yards. It took just one play for another six. Gundy to Dykes. It goes 73 yards to Pater. quarter 38 20 Cowboys Gundy hits Gerard Green for 16 two plays later Gundy to Dykes for 15 to near midfield Sanders for 11 to the Miami 38 then Gundy again to Green watch the tip it's a touchdown, Cowboys. Let's look at it again from the sideline. And it's 45-20, Cowboys. About halfway through the fourth quarter, Miami back to pass. 
Kevin Blake picks it off and returns to the 24. Vernon Brown got those 24 easily over the left side. The final was Oklahoma State 52 and Miami of Ohio 20, running the Cowboys record to 1-0. Here's how the big three came out of the first game of the season. Sanders, 18 carries, 178 yards, and three touchdowns. Mike Gundy at 14 of 19 passes for 246 yards and two touchdowns with one interception. Hartley Dykes caught eight passes for 175 yards and one touchdown. 